do we have yet another red pill celebrity? How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about this picture of R&B and pop megastar Rihanna wearing a very interesting shirt, and I'll place said picture on the screen before you. In case you're not watching the video and you're just listening, the shirt reads, Think While It's Still Legal. And the shirt looks very patriotic. It's a white shirt. It has blue letters, and then there's a red line in between the words, While It's Still Legal and legal very big so red white and blue it has stars on it it looks to be very patriotic like a shirt you would see on my store and as a matter of fact the shirt is available on my store on ablmerch.com a link will be in the description box is it an abl original did, did rihanna go to my store buy that shirt and wear it for me no i, I wish she did i mean if she got that shirt from my store and then gave me a shout out, my whole store would be shut down. It'd be crazy, but <laughs> it doesn't even really matter if it was or if it wasn't. The whole point is that Rihanna is wearing a shirt and that's really big for us in a conservative movement. Now I'm seeing people that support her, of course, because they're saying, Hey, we need all hands on deck. We're, we're fighting this war and we're going to have several battles in the war. I guess you would call it a culture war or whatever a war of information, misinformation, whatever you, you want to call it. So we got to have people that are going to be on our side to help us get through this whole thing. And I think having people like Rihanna on our side and anyone else, whether it's Kanye, Nicki Minaj, I'll talk about them in a little bit. It helps. Every bit helps. When you're being fought by mainstream media, political establishment, big tech, you got to have some, big guns to come in and try to assist. And I think that is what Rihanna is doing with the shirt. Understand this. Rihanna is not just a, just some random celebrity. She's been a celebrity for a long time. Um, is a billionaire, if I'm not mistaken, because aside from um, the fashion, aside from the music, she also has makeup, the, the Fenty line. That has her net worth at over $1.7 billion, with a B. So we ain't talking about just some um, one hit wonder. Nah, no, no, this is Rihanna. This is a really big star. And for her to wear something like this means a lot. And I think when she wears anything, it's calculated, especially if you are a fashion icon. When you go outside wearing anything, it'll fly off the shelves. And you're also sending the message. Rihanna is the kind of person, from what I know, and if I'm wrong, to anybody that's a fan or whatnot of Rihanna, please let me know in the comments. But I take her as a kind of person that would not go outside her house at all wearing a thing that she didn't want to be photographed in that she didn't want to represent her directly. So it's very important that she wore this. And I think it was very intentional. Now you have some who were saying, well, so what? She's a celebrity. We really shouldn't care. Why worship celebrities? Well, it's not even about celebrity worship. It's about you have people that have great influence, right? In America, in other parts of the world as well, the government has big influence, right? Go to China, North Korea, the government has very big influence, okay? If Xi Jinping says something, it's like God himself came and said something to many in China. Same thing with Kim Jong-un. It's, it's the same situation because of their influence and their power over people. Now, you're talking about celebrities, people that have a following of fans that appreciate their music and like how they look or whatever the case may be have a very big reach so it's very important to support them when they do things like this because check it out when you're in hollywood when you're in the entertainment industry music fashion art whatever it is it's very lgbt and very liberal so when you do anything that could be seen as conservative it's easy to get blacklisted oh you're a trump supporter you're a conservative i hate you i mean we saw it with Nicki minaj right and by the way Nicki Minaj and Rihanna are good friends. They hang out with each other. Uh, Nicki Minaj has her husband, what's his name, Kenneth Petty, and Rihanna is dating ASAP Rocky. They have pictures together, having couples date nights. So they're friends. They're good friends. And I think this whole thing with the shirt is probably a way to support Nicki Minaj, who's just saying, hey, can we think? Can we ask questions? Can we see what's going on with this shot? What are the side effects? What's the best one? What do we do? Right? 
I presume it's to support her and maybe a domino effect. Cause I said that as well, before I kind of get too off track, I'm going to just say this and get back on it. Um, I said that when Nicki Minaj did what she did, just questioning the vex and getting blocked from Twitter, that right there was kind of a watershed moment. Cause it's like, okay, other celebrities are watching this and not just regular everyday normies like you and I, her celebrity friends are watching this. Uh, people that, uh, you know, the executives are watch. everybody, the whole world is watching this. So this could be a domino effect from Nicki Minaj coming out and doing what she did to support her. And it's important that we support both of them because if they don't have any support from the music industry, they're trying to blackball uh, Nicki Minaj, the baby, because he said something about LGBTQ and HIV, which is valid. It's not invalid, but I guess it was quote unquote insensitive. So you had to go apologize like a hundred organizations. If we don't support them, if we just let them get thrown under the bus by the left, if we don't have their back on an ideological point of view, you may not like their music. You may not like them as people, but support what they're doing. If we don't do that, then how are we going to get anybody that's in that position to come down from the ivory tower and support us in our fight? Again, we got to have all hands on deck here. We're dealing with some really crazy things in the world. Go to California right now. You could pretty much shoot heroin, smoke crack, smoke meth, whatever you want out in public, and it's no problem. I saw, and I'm going to say it again, if you've been here for a while, you probably heard this before, but I saw the mayor of San Francisco, London Breed, look a heroin user in his eyes in the daytime. I'm talking about she was right here next to the guy, right in front of his face, right? On camera with police around as he was getting ready to shoot up. On camera, live, news. When that's going on and people are saying, oh, well, I don't care about Rihanna, so what? She's just trying to get money. It's like, what are we thinking about? Support her and what she's doing. If conservative people, they support her message, they support what she's doing, we can get this to be normalized. You don't want it to be a fringe thing to say, hey, it's okay to think. We don't want that to be fringe and kind of an abstract thought. We want everyone to embrace that message. Now, whether you want to embrace Rihanna and her outfits or not is totally irrelevant. That's kind of like low-level thinking. We're, we're totally beyond that point. Just like the whole thing with Bruce Jenner, I mean, pardon me, Caitlyn Jenner. It's like, hey, if, 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 if Big Homie was going to be the governor and you could do something better than Gavin Newsom, then it is what it is. We can, we can debate about, well, morality and whatnot, but and, and again, in California, morality is out the window. You could smoke crack in public. You could shoot heroin on a school playground with kids watching. So, I mean, <laughs> well, I mean, like, come on, let's just, all I'm saying is we got to understand where we are and be realistic, right? If Rihanna wants to support I got her back 1,000%, okay? I be in there, umbrella, AA, all that, all day long, if I got to, because I know that supporting her is going to have a, a positive impact when she gets embraced and it's warm and it's love and people see that from the left, from the right, other celebrities, they may come out again. Nicki Minaj, I think that might have been the, the first domino and now we got Rihanna then you got you might have Kanye to come back if he wants to come do politics again. Then you got all these celebrities coming out and they're helping. You have more regular normies. They're coming out and they're helping. Shout out to all the parents going to the school board meetings. Shout out to everybody that's running for office locally, nationally. As I said before, as I close, we can't get discouraged about what's happening in the country with all these crazy politics and stuff going on, right? can't get discouraged because at the end of the day, the people that run things, the people that do all these crazy, ridiculous things are people just as we are people. But it's time to stop being afraid of becoming involved and just letting everybody else do it. We have to be involved. Whatever you can do, if it just means buying a shirt, putting it on, or just retweeting something that says something about Rihanna or s something, even if you don't like the celebrities, do something to support somebody locally. You could donate. You could volunteer your time. You could tell a friend and tell a friend. Whatever you can do, we got to have all hands on deck. And it's going to take that to defeat, again, like I said, 
mainstream media, big tech, uh, the political establishment, sometimes on the left and the right. It'll take a whole lot to defeat it. And shout out to Rihanna for helping us in our cause. And I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? How do you feel about Rihanna wearing a shirt that says, think while it's still legal? Uh, is it a good thing, a bad thing? Whatever your thoughts on that are, let me know in the comments below. You guys pretty much know where I'm at. Shout out to all the celebrities that have a lot to lose, quite frankly, because coming out and supporting us on the right can be career suicide. You don't want to do that. But if you come out and do it, I got your back. 1,000%, I got your back. Okay, now, the issue of your art and your music is totally irrelevant. And to touch on that for a quick moment, Rihanna is more about pop music and stuff. People could say that it's risky or whatever. Okay, great, fantastic. Meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile, again, you can smoke crack on school grounds in California and it's okay. What's the more important issue to fight? I'm just trying to figure it out. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.